In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to analyze trends found in graphs. Question 1 reads, the graph below displays winning times in men's 100 meter sprints over the last century. A. Examine the graph and describe trends in sprint times over the period shown. So notice that they have collected data all the way from 1913, and as the years have progressed, the record times have decreased from a point of 10.6 all the way to 9.8. To summarize this change, we can say that as times have increased, sprinting times have decreased. So let's write that down. As time increases, speed records have decreased. Moving on to question B. Describe some factors that may have influenced these trends over time. Well, of course, training science has gotten better. So training, possibly the usage of lighter clothes and better shoes, so attire, maybe the introduction of drugs or medication, and lastly, training equipment. Question C asks, predict the sprint time for the year 2012 and 2020. Use the graph to explain your prediction. So let's go back to the graph. Notice that the times have obviously decreased, but there comes a limit to everything. We know that eventually the last record will be broken, but it won't be broken by much. So we can say at the year 2012, which can be confirmed now, and the year 2020, the timing will be somewhere in between 10 and 9. So 10 seconds and 9 seconds. Let's write that in. In the year 2012 and 2020, the record will be between 10 and 9 seconds. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2 they ask, the graph below shows a girl's height in inches as a function of her age in years. Describe the trend in the graph. As you age, you will get taller up until a point where you stop growing. So we can summarize this by saying, as time increases, height increases. Now, of course, we can assume that after the age of 16, the growing will not be as profound as shown in the previous years. In fact, there will be a limit up until a certain age. Now, for some people, that age is up until the age of 25, but most often people stop growing after the age of 18. And this leads us to question B. It asks us to predict the girl's height at the age of 20. What assumptions did you make? To answer this question, I will put a line of best fit that will approximate these points. And if we use this line of best fit, it tells us that at the age of 20, she will continue to grow in a continuous fashion. But as mentioned earlier, height has a limit. And so this is probably not the best way to approximate the height as age continues beyond 16. So for B, we can say that she will be no taller than 65 inches after her 20th birthday. At 20, she will be between 60 and 65 inches. And the assumption that we made was that height is not continuous. It will stop at some point in one's lifetime. So there you have it. Two examples on how to analyze trends found in graphs. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.